fresh eyes. I need to answer my own question about how my educator is going to pass these technologies in the class. So, um, there are two main examples that I can think of uh, that they use technology. One is for playing tests and auditions. They use like video cameras and smart music. Smart music, because it's, uh, we especially started using smart music as I went into high school. So by the time I was a senior, all the auditions and playing tests were with smart music, because at the high school we had one director. So if he said he didn't have to use class time to evaluate auditions, he would have us go into one of the practice rooms and use the smart music, which I think is a pretty good idea, because you can go back and listen to them. Um, it caused some trouble at first with people who'd never used smart music before. So that was not quite fair in auditions, but it was it worked out in the end. The video camera thing, I never did that, but the junior high director did that after I was gone, when I started helping out there. Um, that worked also. That sounds good. Yeah, that worked. That worked. Anyway, the other example of technology is um, an app called Tonal Energy that they started using a lot my junior and senior year. Or they, because both of the directors junior high and high school used it and collaborated a lot. Um, it looks like this. You might have seen it before. It's a tuning, it's mostly a tuning app. The cool things about it are that it gives you a smiley face when you're in tune. That's kind of cool. Also has um, just intonation, which is pretty cool. You can set it to play in. You, you can set it to a certain key, so that you can, you know, the, the third could be lower. So I think it's a good way to teach kids to do that. Um, well, at the same time, it's visual, which is cool. The main benefits for this that are it's visual. They would project this on onto the wall on a big screen. Or having sectionals with little banner fish or something, so that we can see how we're playing in tune. And it also has this uh, spectrum analysis thing, and they would use this to talk about like note shapes or hats and things. So that's pretty cool. I like this app a lot. 